Hello, and welcome to the Xbox Tavern episode fourth. Fourth, fourth already is flying by. How are we getting? How are we here already? Uh, welcome back. We're going to attempt this live streaming shenanigan once more. Fingers crossed. It's, uh, we'll, <laughs> we've nailed it now. And um, once again, joining me is Ian. Hello. And Daniel. Hiya. How are we doing, gentlemen? Yeah, Good. not bad. Thanks. Yeah, pretty okay. damn well. Thank you very much. Have you had a Have you had a busy week this week, Daniel? I, I, it has been a little bit busy and yeah. uh, a bit intense. So yes, are you settling into your new job nicely now? Uh, one would like to think so. Well, I'll find out next week. We have little appraisals and stuff like that. So, so yeah. we'll see. I'll be I crying next week, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you, Ian? You had a, had a fun week working from home, joys. Yep. Same. Can't complain too much. Happy days. You haven't had to pop out or anything. Go to the office for a little bit. I should do it on Tuesday party. again, but yeah. only in the morning. Yeah, that's not right. too bad. Oh, not not too bad. Obviously, Graham's not joined us this week. He's uh, otherwise engaged, but he should be back next week, hopefully, and to uh, give us his spicy hot takes as he's <laughs> as he does, as we all do. Spicy. All right. So it's been a bit of a quieter week, I think, this week for for news and and sort of new shenanigans going on we've obviously still been working our way through getting used to the series x uh ian how are you finding your x after what we at now two weeks nearly with it yeah it's been not too bad thank you very much um i haven't come out any tv issues as much i've had one the odds obviously the joys of um watchdogs but yeah that's, yeah so, so. so do you want to just have a, do you want to just quickly mention what the issue that you've been having is and and sort of the general scope of it yeah so it seems weird but and i think it's only i'm not sure if it's on just the series x but apparently it's also on the other xbox one as well that you keep losing your save so it will either crash halfway through a mission or it'll just you try and save it and like come back to it so you close the game down play another game then come back later and you've basically done anything you've done before again it's like so i noticed i didn't notice it the first time i thought wait a minute i've done this mission before i thought i didn't pay attention to it <laughs> it happened again it's like this is a bit suspicious. So I looked online, I saw, yeah, it might be a few issues. They said as a workaround, go back to main menu before you shut your game down. So I started doing that. And then going back to main menu started crashing. I was like, oh no. So, okay. this, so I think all in all, I lost about maybe six, seven hours of gameplay. So I, you obviously you keep forgetting, you don't want to keep changing, going back to main menu after every mission just to make sure it saves. Yeah. You want to kind of carry on and crack on. But I'm powering through but then i've kind of given up a bit now i'm going to kind of wait a bit yeah. now see if they can actually get it fixed and wait for the patch before you <clears throat> wait for the patch before you carry on yeah because it kind of just yeah. keep stop starting it just kind of just ruins the flow of the missions and what you're doing so it takes you out of the immersion doesn't it when you're trying to in the nicest way smash out missions it um yeah it just doesn't slightly, work doesn't it? yeah it just doesn't work well it just feels like a bit lackluster because you always having to stop star and that's not what you want because also the missions are quite free flowing as well. Like you'll say, once you finish one mission, I go, okay, go and do this, go do this. But you can't just go, I'm going to pause, go back to my menu, hope it saves. Is it saved? Let's go back into the game. Yeah. And to be fair, I can't complain because loading times is much, much better, but it still doesn't, it's still not the yeah. point. I know well, it's yeah, like there's no point in loading in fast if you have to repeat what, you, what you've been playing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so. you said it it's affects. The Xbox One. Is it just Xbox with the PlayStation as well? Everything PlayStation panic because I spoke to someone, I put it on Twitter, and someone who's also on PlayStation said they've lost they lost the whole save at one point. And they literally just disappeared. Whole save. And that's like, uh, like six, seven hours in, and they're like, it's all gone. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. So well, that's like, not very good. No. That's not good. Um, hopefully, they'll fix it out. Fix it so shortly for you so you can get back into it because yeah. I think you were quite enjoying it up to then, weren't you? Yeah, I was until I started realizing I had to play the same mission over and over again. I was like, yeah, I'm but, it, but it does give you the opportunity to give the old granny stone cold stunner. So it does. <laughs> and I got my personal who died accidentally back as well, so I can't complain too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's silver linings on every cloud. Eh? I feel like I should this like should kill off again because like, you did die, but. <laughs> you are quite useful and I don't want to do another because obviously you can do recruitment missions it's like don't want to do another recruitment mission for the same kind of class I was like oh, I'll just leave you <laughs> and how about you Daniel are you finding your Series X is still treating you well are you haven't run into any game breaking bugs or anything game breaking bugs no however peripheral um, issues um, I thought I was going mad at one point because it would uh, drop my connection from my Elite 2 controller and my headset 
and found out now it's a kind of a reoccurring issue. So I've had it okay. three or four times now. Well, it will just unpair from my Xbox. Um, that is weird. Is I, that why you're why you're using it, or is it when you go to turn it on the next time you come to it? No. So as you go to power it down, um, I hit the jewel. Obviously, go power down. It shuts down. Then all of a sudden, the console turns back on again. Okay. Um, your peripheral. I've turned the peripherals off at that time. Mm. Go to sign in. Can't sign in with my controller because it's unpaired. So try to pair it with the button on the console and the button on the controller. The console button doesn't flash. So I have to then plug in, go wired to navigate the menu to do a hard reset. And then it will all of a sudden come back on and pair and connect and mm. then turn off. And that's happened, like I said, about four times in the eight or nine times I've played it. Yeah. Yeah. That's highly, um... highly frustrating and annoying that's very bizarre did you say your machine kept turning itself back on the machine would turn itself back on i had that back in the day with my 360 constantly kept telling me i had to hold it power down yeah, yeah so go on i was just gonna say it's, it's just it's so annoying because then i have to get the cable to plug it in so i can navigate the menu because on the elite 2 obviously you can't take the battery pack out to power down the controller. Oh, okay. Because it's all, yeah, so it's built all built in. in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, so yeah, that's frustrating. very annoying. Yeah, so last night I was playing and I was like, can't be bothered. Sod this, sod the world. I left the controller on flashing like anything, turned the console off and just went to bed. So it's yeah. been sitting here charging for the past few hours, which yeah. I should probably take it off now. <laughs> yeah, that's very strange. I mean, we've kind of started on a bit of a negative here, but we'll, we'll get, get out of the way. Um, I, I had this pretty much the same issue as you, not that the things weren't pairing, but I went to turn my console off last night uh, and it just kept popping back on. So, yeah. No, so I pressed the off button, but back on yeah. again, back on. So I was like, what? So I picked up the, 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 just the Series X controller, went yeah. to navigate the menus, like you said, to get to the reset. Yeah, it wouldn't work at all. So, okay. So I picked up my um, Elite, which was plugged in and charging anyway, and that worked fine. I unplugged it, wouldn't work anymore. So I plugged it back in, reset it, turned it back on, fine. Turned it off, turned it back on again. I was like, what? <laughs> so I ended up just, I literally, I literally just held the button down for like 10 seconds to do like a proper hard yeah. reset type yeah. thing. Um, and touch wood, it's been all right since. Um, but yeah, that was very, it, again, it didn't, didn't unpair the controllers, really, but you just would not would not turn off it was oh, like no you you will play me you will carry on playing <laughs> yeah no it looks so on my controller it was flashing that it was unpaired so yeah. i was like okay while well, i sit here let me pair it and like i said the console wouldn't flash to pair yeah. so i was like what is going on um but it's a really weird bug so someone else i know has got has had the same issue mm. um so that's two people i know so far that's had it and i know yeah. two people that haven't so mm, yeah you know, is it the fact that we use, or oh, I'm using an elite version two? I'm not using an uh, air quotes up to date peripheral. Well, it's, it's or, as bad as up to date as you can get, except for the new, the brand well, new one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, and that's my thought process. Is it because there's something different between the two, the two controllers? I did a firmware update to make sure that everything was up to date. I'm all fine. So who knows? You know, we'll see in the next week or so if this issue happens again. Yeah, well, finger, fingers crossed. I mean, I suppose that's kind of uh, to be expected with new, new hardware and, and things like that. But it's not for the, for what we paid for them. It's not yeah, really exactly, ideal, is yeah. it? For... You wouldn't want to, so yeah for the I don't want to say top of the line controller, but yeah for potentially the most expensive controller that Xbox have done so far. You would yeah. like to think it would work okay, but no, then you're definitely right. Okay, so so far the case the the quick case study I've done fifty percent of the people I know have had that issue. Yeah. Make sense of it? I don't know. Yeah. Well, well, let's hope that as the more people talk to you, the the, the lower that number gets. So Hopefully, you... touch with. I mean, it's probably like a minute number yeah. anyway. But it, it, it that's the only downside to the console. The rest is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's still. Um... It still astounds me just how, just how fast things load, and and even oh. this, I've got Dragon running in the background today, um, and it I've, I played it on the original Xbox One, and it was just like very blurry and muddy, and it it looked nice but not nice enough. But this, oh my days! 
it looks like, like the difference again is night and day as we keep saying yeah um, so yeah so other than the few technical hiccups i think uh still very happy with it still very keen to keep playing on it and keep working our way through as many games as we can while it while it works and while it turns on yeah why it's still going <laughs> may it may it last for many more years to come uh, good okay well let's uh let's sort of take the negativity and chuck that over there we've done we'll deal with that for now um, yeah. i'm sure we'll come back to that at some point but for now i thought we'd uh just talk about this week uh the main sort of topic of news that really uh caught my eye this week was that the xbox let me just get his exact title up because i've forgotten it now i think he's a cfo um of my of xbox basically saying that bethesda's games they they're not planning to pull them from playstation or uh nintendo platforms but they want them to come to xbox either first or better or best as he says in this article i'm just having a quick look at this article from video game chronicle um written by uh, tom, tom ivan. ivan tom ivan hi tom uh basically so the the, the sort of like Overview headline, as I just said, was Microsoft wants future Bethesda games to be either first, better, or best on Xbox platforms, a senior executive has said, uh, which was Tim Stewart, the chief financial officer. So basically, what he went on to say was that even though they've spent uh, an extreme amount of money purchasing Zenimax Media, which obviously then includes Bethesda and all the other studios yeah. within you know, Arcane and um, Machine Games and stuff like that, they don't, they don't have the intention of right now there are you know if you've got a playstation or a, a switch you you're out of luck they just want it to be that when you think of those games you think i'll play them on xbox because they come as again as he said better first or best um yeah. and i just wanted to see what your guys opinions were on on that sort of very not necessarily vague quote but he's not really he's still not is necessarily saying Scar um Elder Scrolls Six is coming to PlayStation. He's sort of just saying, Well, we're we're not saying it's not coming to PlayStation, but we definitely exactly. want you to want you to play it on Xbox if, if when mm. it does eventually come out in thirteen fifty seven hundred year times. <laughs> um so Dan, what we'll go with you first. What, what's your sort of thoughts on, on what he says in this article? So I suppose this article it, is a bit div divisive is the word mm. i think because as a as an xbox gamer i would say no we, you know we want our console exclusives we don't want to hear someone saying oh well you've got no games blah 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 yeah. however if you think about it logically you want your games everywhere phil spencer's been going on for the last uh, i can't even think how long saying he is a gamer first and foremost so we should be expecting our certain games or potentially all microsoft games going on all the platforms because game is a gamer you know take that silly bit of you know i'm a fanboy for this console that console regardless um i think it's a good idea you've also got the added benefit of as someone switches on their playstation and loads up Elder Scrolls, what's the first thing they're going to sit? Well, second thing they're going to see after their PlayStation UI, Microsoft Studios, PlayStation, Microsoft, <laughs> or yeah. well, probably X because it's Xbox Game Studios now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so like, yeah, so sorry, so Xbox Studios, which is a very easy, marketable, yeah, yeah, thing. Which I think I, I don't know if I mentioned it on this podcast or another podcast, <laughs> it's the perfect marketing tool, you know. I'm going to whip out my my switch. Oh, Xbox. Xbox. You're planting that seed for a while. But regard, I think it's a good idea. Games are games. Give them to everybody who wants to play them. But Microsoft aren't looking, or Xbox aren't looking to sell consoles. They're looking for you to sign up to Game Pass. And again, this could be okay, another so. way of, yeah, this is another way of them saying, oh, yeah, look, we've got Game Pass as well. It's like you say, like Microsoft and Xbox, like Xbox is not really much. Yes, there's quite a big factor because it's the game console, you know, it's one of the big ones. But it calls them in the company wise, it's not very much the main focus for them. Their focus is like, for instance, Windows and Office and stuff like that. So, yeah, where, I think 
I want to say I heard it was that Microsoft is only, is it 30% of their business? Not even that. I think it was like 20, 10%. Yeah. That, so it's that low. Because most they think go through Windows 10 and Office 365. Mm. That's the way their cash camel is. Whereas Sony and PlayStation, that's their main biggest, their biggest pool. Like, like you say, Microsoft want to cost, let's say, whoever goes, oh, look over to PC as well. It's like, yes, clearly, because it's Windows. You're playing Windows, yeah. Microsoft Windows. Like, is that that Windows program that Larry Herb also wrote, as well as creating the Series X? He he wrote he created Windows as well, didn't he? I think is that right, Larry Herb? He? I think so. Yeah, did he? Sure, Major Major Nelson founded Windows. Yeah, that guy must have so many fingers in so many pies. He's just he, everywhere. He, <laughs> he's everywhere. <laughs> good old Major Nelson. Um, yeah, sorry, c- carry on here. I feel like I interrupted you. Much. No, you it's good. Carry on. No, but yeah, I say it's all good, though. You know, I think yeah, shove it on all consoles. Like, no, no, there's no what's the harm? Like, I what, think in this I, day and age, if you're turning around saying that you know you're moaning about uh, moaning is the wrong word, if you're you shouting about how great this console exclusive is, mm-hmm. I think it's I think it's very short sighted. I think console console exclusives are going to slowly die death. I think I think it's slow, especially. I, I think only on one side. I think Sony will always go exclusive because it seems they're... they need the, they need their exclusives. Whereas well, I don't know need. I don't think it's need. I think that's they have got this very it's not atypical. It's this tried and patented format that this is the way we're going to go on this portfolio, and they just constantly roll. They haven't. It doesn't seem like they've shifted in their kind of strategy. It's let's put out this console exclusive yeah. let's get call of duty um exclusives for the next x yeah. amount of years whereas microsoft have i suppose tried to do that failed i guess and then gone well actually let's pivot and shift we'll make focus on everything on pc and console P- well yeah that but their main focus has been now or has been pushing game pass and you know they've never once said this that- so far that sony's their main competitor their main competitor now is the Netflix, Disney, that yeah. subscription based? So we'll it's see. It's like still like 15, 20 million users on Game Pass. It's still quite a big number they're putting. Yeah. That's it. We can imagine if they just get another 5 million. If you work yeah. that out, it's mental. Yeah. Pay off well, to especially the max very especially when, you, when you think how, well, they haven't reported the numbers obviously, but how low the Xbox One's reported to have sold. If you've got 15 million users, that's pretty much roughly half of the last number they reported which is about 30 odd million that it sold mm. so that's that's quite a half the fan uptake. base on yeah yeah and, and i think know, it's most people most people yeah i'm on game pass like yeah. even some people just pay monthly pay yearly pay for every three months but most people i know are on it because it's just it's cash cash on games you don't need to go out and buy sense, games it? no yeah even even if you're only going to buy say the halo one year if you buy halo you just get halo you buy game pass for the year you get Halo, you get Gears, you get Forza, you get yeah. hundred, you know, over a hundred other titles as well. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, admittedly, not all, not all of them are probably worth the the hassle, but there's a lot on there. There are, no. and it's only it's only getting better and better every day. I think also, if you look at, we're used to paying like a subscription service. We were primed in at, on the three sixty of paying forty oh, pounds, fifty gold. pounds yeah. for gold, and that evolution for us now is to pay. This all right, it's gone up in price. However, as you've mentioned, you James, games. you're getting the games. Even if you buy two Microsoft exclusives, it is still cheaper to get a monthly Game Pass subscription or a yearly Game Pass subscription. And there's the ultimate ones now for the PC users as well. Yeah, precisely. I mean, I, I'm an ultimate member and I don't PC game. I think I've fired up Championship Manager um, and that's it. Yeah, I'm an ultimate, but I do use the PC stuff as well. Oh, well, yeah, it, it, quiz yeah. in. Yeah, I, I like to dip into the PC stuff here and there, but I don't get so much chance. But it's, you know, was it an extra couple of quid, I think, in it? No, hardly roughly. anything. It was, yeah, um, it was hardly anything. And it, that's, that effectively doubles your library, because although there are a lot of titles on cross both, there are some just PC and some just Xbox. So. Yeah. And, and then now, you know, sort of going back to the Bethesda thing, obviously all of them are then going to be included. So you've already got, was it Doom Eternal got put on there recently? Yeah. Um, uh, Dishonored was in there for a while. It's got taken out. I imagine it'd be no. It's bought, it, it, it came. Didn't Dishonored two still stayed in the end? I'll yeah. oh, do the stay in the end. Okay. Yeah, they changed That's their good. mind. They changed Dishonored two. If you but haven't played Dishonored, please, please yeah, play Dishonored. Good. Oh, amazing! Love it. 
But like you say as well, it's also saying first and they haven't given you a time. So it could yeah. be first for two, for two, three years before it goes to PlayStation yeah. and other consoles. You know, you just don't know. They say first, but yeah. how long is that first? I was, I was listening to a show today. Um, I'll figure which one, but they were talking about this and they were saying that they would be very surprised if it was more than a month because, you know, who does, who does that? Who, who would make it exclusive for more than 30 days? But last year we got, or well, this year, Final Fantasy VII, which Sony play for for at least a year's exclusivity yeah uh, even the call next final fantasy is a year exclusive exactly and you've got call of duty dlc uh for black ops the one mode of the zombie mode mm. again this year exclusive for a year yeah. um so why wouldn't microsoft think well if we'll put it in game pass for a year uh, and then after that time we'll bring it to the playstation maybe the switch if it if it'll run it yeah uh, exactly or, you know if there's a new switch out by then you're creating um, hype as well aren't you it's yeah. mostly going to be a year to maybe two. I think, was it two made was two years or was it a year? That I was think that was first. a year as well. Yeah, so I think I think the go-to would be a year, yeah. I imagine. Yeah, I mean, again, something like, um, say, say I keep wanting to say Skyrim, Elder Scrolls Six, whatever that ends up being called. Um, I think that might be less than a year just because of how massive it is. And if, you know, the sooner they get people in to play it, Regardless of whether they're buying it on the PlayStation for seventy quid, or if they're you know playing on Game Pass, making people wait a year for that might quite might just push push the, their sort of goodwill a bit too far. But something oh, like the next, because look at Final, Final Fantasy Game of the Year up, to, up this, for Game of the this Year. This is true. Yeah. This is true. But I, I I think after Skyrim, Elder Scrolls has just sort of skyrocketed past Final it's Fantasy. Better, in terms it'll be of more. It'll be a year or more. Yeah. Okay. I, when it comes all right, out, a, all right, a tenner. I reckon it'll be less than a year. I reckon six months. Oh, okay. Between six months, it's more than six months. You have to, you have yeah. To when it comes out in <laughs> ten years' time, if we yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> they still got recorded <laughs> evidence now. When, when we're I was old, gonna say, it's uh, it's down you're on old, uh, episode now. four. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. Cheers. Um, so yeah, so I, I, I mean, I think having it better, best, or first, uh, basically covers them for saying well we got it on the xbox now but it will come to playstation at some point whether they announce an exclusivity thing or whether they just say it's only i would love it if they did like skyrim like not skyrim elder scrolls it was like amazing graphics for xbox and then they did it for like playstation it's like all minecraft two-bit graphics (laughs) 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 Or, or if or if they kept the bug, you know, when Skyrim came out on PS3 and it was crashing after about 50 hours because the saves were just too bloated. Too bloated, yeah. They just did that too. I was like, yeah, just do that again. That'll be right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's like all Don't like worry. poor graphics, really bad, like... <laughs> no <laughs> bugs we, fixed we, whatsoever. We, we, we warned you it'd be better, like... <laughs> yeah. but won't... I, I, I wanted to go back to something you said earlier on. I, I, I was trying to remember what it was. Um, Obviously, as you said, Sony is sticking with their exclusive, it seems. Like, you know, Last of Us, Uncharted. The other ones that aren't as good as them too. Um, God of War. Uh, whereas Spider-Man. Microsoft seem more keen to to share the love to put their stuff yes. here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. Um, do you think that Sony, uh, not making a mistake, but do you think they're sort of missing out on on making their uh, a competitive uh, competitive to Game Pass, or do you think they're good, wise for sticking to their guns and, and just releasing their exclusive on PlayStation? So they've just released. I want to say they released something that's got like twenty titles in it, haven't? Hasn't it? Yeah, so they've oh, PlayStation yeah. Plus collection. Yeah. Yeah. So they've they've added oh, to cold. their yeah. So they've added to their PlayStation Plus subscription service. Microsoft seem at the moment a consumer friendly corporation, hmm. and I use that term a bit loosely because let's be honest, everyone wants to make money. PlayStation, oh, yeah. the, the corporation part of that is <laughs> <laughs> money, money, money. Yeah, um, PlayStation seem very much greedy, unconsumer friendly. Let's charge you seventy pounds for our new exclusive game. Yeah, mm. that's 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 the thing. They you know without a, a Game Pass thing, that you literally having to pay, as you said, you know seventy quid this time out yeah. for uh, was it Dark Souls or um, I think Sackboy is 70 quid as well, isn't it? On, on the play, I, I think so. Well, I mean, if you go back, is it two weeks or three weeks? The fiasco with Spider Man 
mm. they were going to charge you another copy of Spider Man oh, yeah, for, for your PlayStation Five, 5 to play Spider Man Miles Morales, I believe. Yeah, it, it I, was. It was. You could play the PS4 one on the PS5 yeah. if you wanted the upgrade, rather than the smart delivery which Microsoft are doing, which again, yeah. as you say, is you know corporate friendliness. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they they were charging people got twenty quid to, to upgrade it. Yeah, uh, which... and then and then same with Call of Duty this week. They have a bundle which costs more money. Admittedly, the same on the Xbox because Activision are greedy. Do as they people. Do. Obviously, that's how they become so massive. And Bobby Kotick's got you know fifteen jetliners waiting in his garden or something. Yeah. But they rather than using smart delivery, they charge an extra. Yeah, but then you. I've completely derailed myself now. <laughs> Am I thinking about having a garden full of jet line? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got five people like, oh, he's got a five pound fine main to his house. Where but yeah, it's I? not oh, yeah. it's not friendly, is it? It's not it's not you're not no. looking after your your customers. Um I was one of those fools that spent the sixty five pound version for the Call of Duty um Cold War when I could have bought it for was it forty, maybe fifty? Could have saved myself fifteen quid. I just um, and then no money for that. I only want to play the campaign, so I'm literally paying all that money for a ten, possibly fifteen hour campaign. <laughs> I'm a fool. <laughs> I didn't even I, work I, for I, the sale. I don't want. I don't want to alarm you, Daniel, but I don't think you're going to get quite that much out of it. Oh, re- <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. Yeah, it's very good. My review will be up. Yeah, I think it's like, over the weekend. It, like six hours, isn't it? Five six My, hours. I, I would. I think I did it in about five and a half, six hours. No then. way. Oh. Sh- is it Jesus. five, six hours? No, I did about five and a half, six hours. I told yeah. you, I'm very tired today. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm spending £10 an hour of fun, is what you're saying. Yeah. So I it is very, it is very good. I did really enjoy it. Um, and uh, it, it was, I haven't played any other Black Ops, but it was uh, what the weird. It mean? wasn't. What do the wasn't, numbers mean? It, it wasn't quite. I'm used, last, the last Call of Duty I properly played was, uh, was it Advanced Warfare? And that was just like a roller coaster from start to finish. We just explosions and gunfights and <laughs> oh, yeah. aeroplanes. But this one, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll get. Well, we're kind of already there, I suppose. But it's yes, yeah, it's, it's um, it's really good. It is really good. I enjoyed it a lot. But it's not. It's, it's not. You're not going to get ten hours out of it unless you unless you're really bad. <laughs> well, I have tried yes. a couple of times on the first level. <laughs> um, There's yeah, next couple uh, of hours there for you then. Just keep yep. going. <laughs> Yeah, just take your time. Just uh, explore every corner and marvel at the re- at the ray trace reflections and the I don't know what else they got. Yeah, have screen space shininess, whatever. Um, but yeah, no, it, again, it's good and the multiplayer is brilliant as well. I was playing that some of that before we started here today. Um, yeah, it's I'm, I'm terrible, at it. awful, but I enjoy it. <laughs> Except for I don't know if you if you guys have played the last couple of Call of Duties, but there was a mode called Fire Team something. Oh. It was Dirty Bomb. You had to Dirty like bomb. fill up a fill up a canisters with I don't know, but I had no idea what was going on. I'd get, uh, it was kind of like Warzone. You sort of drop in from the sky, um, and then I got killed, so I dropped in again, and I got killed, <laughs> and then sure I kind of Warzone. It definitely was a Warzone. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but the rest of the multiplayer is quite good. Um, so yeah, so I kind of we, we kind of segued into what we're playing there. So yeah. how about you, Ian? What have you been? What have you been playing? Or reviewing? Other than Star Watch Dogs, um, what have I been cool. playing? Oh yeah, I, um, Warzone. Came um, segue to that. Been doing a bit of Warzone. Uh, God, this has gone so quickly since we before last spoke. I mean, what I actually <laughs> played. We actually managed to nearly finish a few uh, a full round of GTA the other night. We did. Oh, we did finish full round. Almost. Like, what do you mean almost? You were there. I thought we quit out before the end. No, we did the last race, and then everyone literally instantly quits as soon as the race yeah. ends. Yeah. See who wins, and then that's it. Everyone goes to Call of Duty afterwards. <laughs> well, everyone. Yeah, I, I didn't. But you know, we didn't know. Um, what did I play? Let's have a look. I did my review game, which I can't talk about. Um. You just want oh, to go, I'm I embargoed. did a bit of Falls Horizon 4. That's what I played a little bit of as well. Yeah. Um, that's quite cool because obviously it's massively upgraded compared to the Xbox One version. Like, you can actually notice the difference, which is nice. 
doing some of the races there. But apart from it, not really much, actually, to be honest with you. Watch dogs and call a live week. Yeah. GTA. And working, yay. <laughs> and that's the best game Work of all. Cool game. Yay. <laughs> and what about you, Daniel? We've lost Daniel. Oh, he's gone. Cool. Well, that was a good chat, Dan. Cheers. Um, Cheers, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure I had a point earlier on when I sort of went off the rails there, but I. I haven't got a clue what I was going to get to. I mean, do you ever have a clue what you're talking about? Well, it's very, very rare. Sometimes I, I manage to hear it all and I surprise myself and then I get distracted and forget all about Ooh, it. Pretty lights. Oh, I think the cat come through the door as well and put me off. But so what about what are your plans for the weekend? And uh, Ian, while we wait for Daniel to see if he comes back. Plans for the weekend. Um, I don't know, really. Um, cool. I'm kind of in limbo because I want to, I do want to do Watch Dogs to finish it off, but partly as well, like I don't want to oh, wait for the patch before I do anything. So yeah. I might try and find a new game to play. That's something on Game Pass or yeah. there's obviously the Black Friday sale, which is huge. Yeah, I've, oh, I haven't had a chance to look at it yet because it went up today, didn't it? Yeah, it went up today. So early. Is so... there anything? Hi, Daniel. We're welcome back. Welcome back. My microphone's dead. Oh, no. We, can, not... we can hear you. No, it's not. We can hear you. <laughs> yeah, I think it is dead on stream, though. Okay. That's you just have to like quickly scribble it out as you're writing it. Or something. Yeah. yeah, subtitles. <laughs> yeah, I might yeah, try to find a game to play or maybe buy yeah. some Black Friday. I'm keen look at the on deal. Borderlands 3. Oh, yeah. So I do want to give that a go. Um, kind of even started that Borderlands. I love Borderlands 1 and 2, so yeah, I should give 3 a go. Never did the pre Dogs on sales. What's that? What was that, sir? Watchdog is on sales for on sale for about £35. Or the Legion. So. Legion, yeah. yeah. Oh no, thirty five percent off. Sorry, I've already got it. Yeah. That's that's, uh, that's the way Ubisoft go there. They tend to discount their stuff. About that's right. Well. Down there. I was I'm surprised the... Assassin's Creed isn't already on there as well. I think it Probably is, isn't it? somewhere. It's, I, I think it was a bundle. There's a bundle for it, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I need to have a look on it later on and see if there's anything that sort of catches my eye. My, yeah. uh, see no, about... Assassin's Creed is there. Twenty seven pounds. Odyssey. What for the new one? Oh no, oh, sorry, oh, that's Odyssey. Ignore me. I was gonna say <laughs> Ignore me, that's Odyssey. That's madness. This literally uh, days. Like, <laughs> technically, you can get Assassin's Creed Farhalla and Watchdog Legions bundle. Yeah. For that's in dollars. That doesn't help. Well, so, yeah, someone will probably want some dollars. Oh, yeah. For ninety one dollars. Ninety one dollars. Bargain. I'll have two. Pound. Yeah, roughly, yeah. Dying for two is on sale for three pounds. Is it? Oh, it's back on there. I can buy it for you now. Then, can't I? <laughs> well, I can't believe you don't already own it. Ian. That's terrible. Well, it's on Game Pass now. Yeah, I know, but I bought it day one. And I was well excited. And I, I bought it, had it and then completed it and then didn't, yeah. didn't like the multiplayer, so I traded it in. Got rid of it. Outrageous. Outrageous. Um, as uh, We'll get back to you then, Dan, as soon as you're back now. Um, yeah. What have you been playing this week? So I've, um, oh God, brain fart. Um, I have finally jumped into uh, Warhammer Chaos, Sla- sorry, Chaos Bane Slayer. Um, yes. So that's that Diab- Diablo style Warhammer game. Um, so I'm hoping to finish up my YouTube review for that in uh, in the next few days. So that's quite interesting. Um, yeah. I also jumped into, as you mentioned last week, Tetris Effect. So oh, I thought yeah. I'd give that a, a run. And that is trippy as anything. Mm. So watching the kind of... But you can spin the camera as well, can't you? Yeah, I found that out the other day as well. <laughs> I didn't yeah. expect it. And I flicked the same. Like, oh, why is this? Yeah. Why has it moved? What's happened? Um, and then I like... As oh, you yeah, do, I hate that. I, t- I zoomed mine in straight away. I was like, this is too far out. <laughs> so I straight away <laughs> the settings, zoom in. Oh, that's better. Need it in my face. <laughs> but it's... Um, yeah, it's interesting how they then... Um, as you do like three or four blocks in like one hit, that music and that beat gets faster and faster, yeah. and it's and then it um, changes. Yeah, it changes. It's, it's really good. So I, I did enjoy that. And it still annoys um, my wife better than me than other. <laughs> and ludicrously better than me. As so well. That, that like, goes for most games, though, doesn't it? Oh, hey, but no, that Tetris is like night and day. Tetris is like yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, go here. Okay, I could go here. She's like, boop, 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 boop. It's like, give it a chance to fall. <laughs> Um, and I've also hit, uh, so I've just started 
uh, Call of Duty Cold War, um, and I'm what, three missions in, and I'm really enjoying the vibe on that and how um, 80s... You're about halfway through it. I was at... <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing like, oh, was that a free house oh, in? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not joking. <laughs> really? yeah. So that's the prologue. I've done the airplane mission. Please. Yeah, and I've just gone past the airplane mission. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. No, you, you, it, halfway is probably a bit of an exaggeration, but, but I'm halfway not to too halfway. Much, <laughs> not, not too much of one, no. <laughs> like a third of the bit. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Again, so, yeah. very good though. Very good. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the vibe. I love the 80s vibe. I love the just the look and yeah, everything. It's really good. And I really enjoyed, was it Modern Warfare two years ago? Yeah. Was it? No, so, last um, year, wasn't it? Modern year. Warfare, I think. I, I can't even remember. Because the year before that was Black Ops 4, I think, wasn't it? The okay. Just multiplayer one. Yeah, it must have been last year. Yeah. So I really enjoyed that campaign. So I thought I'll go mm-hmm. for this and do it. Um, yeah, and those are the three games really I've I've jumped into. Um, I just need to get some more Assassin's. The, the one game I'm itching to play all the time is Assassin's Creed. Uh, yeah. It's um, that's like a crack habit at the moment. It's yeah, it's so good, so so good. Have you picked that up, Ian? What Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Yeah. No. Do you Not have yet. any interest in picking it up? Uh, well, it's like it's weird because it's like. Um, I found Ob- not Origins Odyssey like it was all right, but then it was like it was like it was so long. Like, is this ever going to end? And I'm, I'm still on the fence about it. Yeah. There's more boat missions than no, but if there isn't, yeah. there's money boat missions. You know, then I might. you know, we love the boat missions. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, I'm sort of uh, in the same boat with that as I was with Call of Duty. Like, I haven't played one in years, so I quite enjoyed this year's Call of Duty. But mm. I haven't played Assassin's Creed in years either, so I'm, I'm half tempted to to pick it up at some point. Yeah, I think so. I missed I missed uh, Origins. I skipped Origins. Yeah. I did Syndicate quite late, so I thought oh, I'll give I'll give the new one a go rather than going back to I'll go back to just one. And yeah, but it felt yeah. like never ending. I was like, yeah, then it's good long... to be like, games long. I think like Call of Duty, which is like six hours. This feels more like you're getting your money's worth. Six days, it's solid six still. hours though. Yeah. yeah. I did, feel, I did feel like Origin, Origins Odyssey was like six days worth. Like, oh my God. Yeah. That, that's it's, the thing that's that worries me about. Long. That's what worries me about things like cyberpunk and that. Like, it, I, I'm probably the only person in the world who's not really all that bothered by it at the minute. It looks all right, but I'm like, let's go. Eh. It's, but it's more the thought of having to get into a game that's so. No, massive, I know what you mean. It's like so long. kind of put off Witcher for you a bit because, like, you hear yeah. about how long it's going to be. It's like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this again. Like, yeah. Yeah. that's I, my. I, I know, I, I know, I will get to it. And I'll probably play it day one. But oh, at yeah, the minute, I'm just like, oh, I don't know. What are you going to say, Daniel? What's the date? Is it? Is it December, January? The tenth, the tenth of December. Yeah. yeah well, that worries me big time. That kind of lengthy yeah. campaign. So when they were almost like a week apart Valhalla and Cyberpunk I was like what am I going to do what am I going to play yeah that was um, ridiculous yeah totally um, so now I started Valhalla and I like it I want to try and finish one have some sort of palate cleanser and then jump into Cyberpunk however that let's be honest is not what's going to happen at all in language um, I love as a palate cleanser <laughs> all three and a half button pushes <laughs> yeah, I think you can finish it in three minutes can't you um, oh, be quick like Call of Duty <laughs> <laughs> but then also jump, trying to jump into Watch Dogs as well like, it, it's going to be so much and then you've got Far Cry that's kind of it's Far Cry 6 that's like, well it's it. been pushed back but that's pushed the again main now, I think oh, that's, mate, so that's not too bad but yeah. man free in January uh, well possibly but yeah I, I don't know Cyberpunk I'm looking forward to however I'm like oh anxiety and then, you know, it's two like 70, 80 hour games that. Yeah, no, I'm definitely going to get it. But if we want us one day, yeah, I'll be playing it a lot. <laughs> it's the other thing with, with Witcher 3, I, as much as I ended up liking it, the first few hours I could not stand when I first started playing it. And that's the sort of vibe I'm getting from watching Cyberpunk. I'm just thinking that opening, you know, four or five hours is just going to be a drag while, while we set everything up and get into the motions and get the storyline you know, going yeah yeah, and then what we can and can't do and 
learn the area and get to know the characters. And oh, I'm already falling asleep just thinking about it. <laughs> Again, this one, it looks good. I just I don't know why I can't I just can't get excited at the minute. Perhaps it'll be mm. different in a couple of weeks when it's sort of on our doorstep. But right now, for me, I, I, I know obviously some of the other guys like Graham and I was really looking forward to it. But yeah, oh, definitely, it's, yeah, uh, it's going to be. I think it's going to be wicked. Yeah, fingers crossed. Touch wood, touch wood. It'll uh, perk up a little bit. So, um, what have you? What you got on the docket for the weekend, then, Daniel? Um, it's going to be to finish up. Well, I say finish up, finish some more Warhammer, but um, try and focus on Valhalla. Um, I'm trying to get, I'm still in the prologue, so I haven't got to England yet, which um, has ground my gears a tiny bit, but I want to push through and try and get to England so the Mm. game actually opens up and I can start enjoying it. Well, building my base, really. I saw um, saw on YouTube, uh, not YouTube, sorry, Eurogamer, an article about an Easter egg. I won't obviously I won't tell you what it was because I don't want to ruin it for you. But if you're interested on Eurogamer, there's a, a article about an Easter egg. I think I believe it's in England. Um, okay. With something to do with a, a bard. Um, yeah. No. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> and it, it, uh, yeah. Don't make me want to play it right now, but very. <laughs> I'll very, have a very neat little video. Yeah, again, once once you've sort of been past that area, I think it's worth having a look. Mm. Um, yeah, very good, very good, lovely. Um, I uh, should we talk about some reviews? Have we got any more reviews that have been out this week? I don't think pretty much. We're quiet really at the minute for us three, anyway, aren't we? Yeah, mine I can't talk about, but mine's a small game. Yeah. But yeah, and obviously you just mentioned yours, Daniel. Yeah, and, uh, Chaos Bane, wherever it was. I think the only one I've put up this week was. Observer System Redux, which was good, but I couldn't tell you what the hell happened. <laughs> uh, the fuck is. It's so bizarre. I mean, it's by Bloober Team. We did uh, Layers of Fear and Blair Witch uh, and a couple of other ones that I, I can't yeah. really remember now. Um, and it's obviously, it's a remake of Observer, which I think came out four or five years ago. Uh, and it's sort of a cyberpunk, um, obviously, everything's cyberpunk at the moment. Um, aesthetic, like um, everyone's got body augmentations and, you know, uh, like UI in their vision and all this sort of stuff. Um, but obviously, being Blue Team is a bit more of a thriller, a bit more of a horror. So, the, you know, you're finding dead bodies everywhere and people with their heads lopped off and people splitting off where their organs have gone wrong and stuff like that. And it's yeah. all about detective work. So you have to sort of scan the area with two different vision modes and find uh, sort of lecture and magnetic clues and then like things like blood and other bodily fluids that I'm sure you can imagine yeah. and, and things like that. Oh, lovely. Um, but then when they find a person, you can hack into their mind and then you go through what can only be described as someone who's taken a vast amount of drugs has not slept for about a year and tried to very quickly like, <laughs> describe to someone their most wild amount like fever dream it's just yeah. mad absolute madness um they're the most sort of horror aspects to it where yeah you're trying to do some stealth stuff and you sort of walking down a corridor and as you go through the door it's the same corridor and over and over again the little bits and pieces change and then there's monsters jumping out and you know, noises and lights flashing and all. yeah, very strange. And by the time I fin- finished it, I, I, I've got to the end and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. What, what just that sounds what? bizarre. That sounds very trippy. So I watched the, because there's an all, there's a couple of different endings. So I watched the other one on, on YouTube and <clears> didn't make a blind but difference. <laughs> I still don't really understand what happened. Um, and then I read the synopsis on Wikipedia and it kind of made a little bit more sense, but not. Oh, yeah, very, very weird. Um, good again, good, like a good atmosphere, really good sort of setting and the visuals yeah. and the the presentation of it is uh, pretty damn excellent. Um, and the the sense of not fear but like tension is 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 really well done. But yeah, I just had no idea what was going on. No idea what was going on. Um, and then there's I had a couple of issues like technical issues again with the. I don't know if it's the console or if it's the game or what, but I've got a pair of wireless headphones that kept cutting out only when playing Observer. 
It was fine oh, when that's weird. so we we played a Apex uh, the weekend I think or, or something at the weekend, and I went from Observer to that, no problem. Went back to Observer afterwards, problem started up straight away. That's uh, weird. It's yeah, fine. It's when, it's fine when I plugged in my head, headphones to the controller, fine through the TV, just just the wireless headphones and only on Observer. But then you say about um, them doing Blair Witch. I remember there were some like technical glitches with Blair Witch as well. Like written, the whole game's written. Uh, so the whole storyline's written beautifully, really good. Yeah. However, kind of aesthetically buggy. There's all little bits of just don't quite work yeah. properly. Yeah. There were similar bits to this as well. Like um, the cursor, it looked, well, obviously you aim. It's always in the middle, isn't it? But this one yeah. was ever so slightly off center. So when you're aiming at the things to interact with, you're actually sort of aiming there, and then it will highlight over here. Oh, and it just it, 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 yeah it was quite annoying especially a lot of them really tiny little things to find as well so trying yeah. to line it up just right was awkward and there was um trying to open doors and stuff as well it's a bit fiddly because you have to hold the trigger and then use a stick to sort of push or pull it yeah but yeah if you're stand there and you, you have to get close to hold the trigger to pull it and then you pull it towards you and it doesn't open because you're in the way so you have to back up and yeah just um yeah just little bits like that were a bit frustrating but overall again very good i did enjoy it other aside from all the, the weirdness and the glitch <laughs> and the few glitches. Um yeah. So what so other than that, there's been that other reviews you can go and check them out on Netflix Tavern by the rest of the team. Uh, we'll have we've got a, a three or four more lined up for the weekend. Uh hopefully my Call of Duty one will be done by Monday or Tuesday. Uh and then obviously Daniel will so get Chaos Bane up and Ian yep. will get in with uh redacted. Um in the next week or so, when it, whenever the... Well, it's actually just over a week, I think, isn't it? Week, yep. Yeah. Nice. So, Daniel, do yes. you want to give us a quick rundown of new to Game Pass? Is, are, are these new titles we got going on here? Yep, so new titles that have, uh, have come in. You've got Ark Survival Evolved. I think this is like the... Got uh, two extra maps in it, and that's coming to Android, Xbox, and PC. You've also got Halo 4 that has finally dropped on PC. So that's the Master Chief Collection Complete, I believe. Finally. Yeah. On PC. Uh, ODS. Yep. Um, as ODS. I thought that dropped a couple of is weeks it? ago. Oh, okay. yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. That, uh, the, yeah, I think ODST is probably think, on the better one. I think we were just waiting for. Yeah, I think it was only four. Um, and then River City Girls is coming out for um, Android, Xbox. And PC, and then you've got Star Renegade for Android and Xbox. So those have all dropped within it's this week. Yeah. So they're any, all any of them take of your fancy? Actually, I looked at is it River City, River City Girls? Actually, I yeah. did look at, and it um, came across as a kind of a platformer yeah. type, like uh, a brawler type shooter. Thing, yeah, yeah. Um, look okay, but I don't mm. think I'll play it maybe yeah. for a laugh. Yeah, I think I think I might give a go at that one because I I like those sort of things and I've heard good things about the River City games in the past. Um, okay, I've not played any of them, but yeah, yeah. I, uh, I yeah I might give that one a little cheeky download. And of course, Halo Four if you're on PC. At last, rounding out the collection. Uh, obviously, I, I believe you're still waiting on Five, which isn't in the Master Chief Collection. Um, but maybe one day you never know. And then we could have We could have added it. Yeah, I, I, I think I've, I've heard a, a quote again, you know, a, a few weeks ago saying that they weren't, they had no plans to add it to the collection. Um, but obviously, if it, it's not on PC at all, it's not on Xboxes and Game Pass, or you, you know, it's been available for a long time. But on, on PC, you can't. I think there's only like a, a very brief multiplayer mode that you can download from somewhere. I'm not even sure if that's still going. Um, but yeah, it'd be good to see it on there, and then obviously Infinite eventually, whenever that. Decides to rear its head once more. Um, hopefully that will, well, that will be on PC, but hopefully it will be. <laughs> I, I don't think it looked, I didn't think it looked that bad, but <laughs> again, no. I seem to be in the minority there. Well, I um, saw those. Yeah, it just feels weird, but we're going to delay it until this ready now, aren't they? Well, yeah, really help. Now, now they've delayed it. They might as well just delay it, like you say, until it's properly until it's done. Probably There's ready, no yeah. point putting it out in a couple of months and be like, well, we delayed it for a little bit. Um, just, just very quickly, so I'll get your, your guys' opinion very quickly. Um, there was sort of a rumour that it might, they might release 
the multiplayer separately before the single player because uh, obviously that's coming out as a free to play standalone anyway yeah. uh, would that pique either of your interest uh, Ian would I oh, know you're not really a big halo guy but would, would you give that a try even if, you know if it had come without the single player um, if it came out a single player and it was like free to play, like you know, like the war zones, the apexes, and stuff like that, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't see any issues in giving it a go. Mm-hmm. Um, will I put heavy, will I heavily invest in it? Who knows? Depending if I enjoy the game mode, I go very yeah, between my battle, my battle royals. Um, yeah, I'm always chopping and changing. Like, why now? I've got like I was heavily into apex and I'm heavily into Call of Duty Warzone, so mm-hmm. I'm always changing. So, I'll, yeah, definitely give it a go, especially multiplayer. It's always good fun to play with other people and yeah. have a laugh. Yeah, well, this is the thing. As I understand, it's like the whole multiplayer suite. So it's not just, it's not a battle royale, as it were. It's this, you know, team deathmatch, team, uh, you know, captain flag, all, all that sort of stuff, and then the big team battles, and hopefully they'll bring. Uh, forget, was it called Warzone? Actually, I think it was in um, as Warzone in Halo Five. Halo, Warzone, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one where it's like yeah, it's eight of you versus AI coming at you. Yeah, and and they the, the big the, like the big team battles, like thirty two player battles as well. They were they were good. Sure that was the iconic one that's the one from Halo 1 or oh, Halo uh, Combat Evolved oh, yes. so good Blood Gulch uh, what about you Daniel if you have any interest in Halo at all no I, I've I've enjoyed Halo I've um, I've gone through I think I've played I say I've played all yeah I've played all of them now um, that would interest me I, I do like Halo multiplayer it's a very strange multiplayer because you're either average or you're like a god and you can do these snipes without looking down your scope. Oh, I Jamie, yeah. yeah, you're on my team then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not so much anymore, but back in the day. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it would interest me. I, um, back in my day. <laughs> um, I think it's not the oldest one on this podcast either. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So. Well, possibly. Um, it would. It would. Uh, yeah, I would definitely jump in and try it out. Um, and then it all goes on whether it's good, whether it works, whether it's they update it enough. You know, the I longevity think they'll is there. Into it, I think. Yeah, surely they'll put some work into it. So, yeah, it depends what type of model they take. Whether they take the Apex um, kind of view, whether they take Call of Duty's view, whether they take the Fortnite view. Mm. And oh, I think God. that's. I don't want a bloody daily loot shop of. of... Master, uh, you know, Spartan yeah. armor skins and so, well, d- but that's the only way these free to play games are going to have right. the longevity to keep going. Um, yeah, yeah so d- it's ridiculous I, the amount of some some of them have. It's like all these skins, like Fortnite, oh, d- um, Apex, Call of Duty. They have loads of skins and stuff. That's how the thing is. That's how you make your money. Well, it is, it's free money. Let's be honest. How, I'm sure it takes a lot less <laughs> time and effort, and I mean that in the nicest, politest way, to make a skin. Than it is to redraw a whole new map or come up with a new game mode. Yeah, um, well, that's it. So yeah, I, I, I know, I, I know. You just just joke about me being the old man, but I generally had an old man moment when I, was, when I started playing Fortnite. And you know, I went into the store, I not no intention of buying anything. I just I'd just have a look, see what's there, and I generally didn't know that the skins were literally like you know, buy it now or it's gone. Like what? What? <laughs> Why? Time limited skins, yeah, were they? yeah, yeah. But why would you do that? Why <laughs> to get you to buy them now and then? Yeah, yeah but <coughs> why? That just ba- that absolutely baffled me again. Maybe I'm missing something. For that just it's funny. That's the whole point. It? It's all mentally. You think, oh, I'll never get a chance to get this again. I will better get it now whilst I got it. Oh, I'm going to money and spend it. You but, spend, um, but there's no. It's not like you're going to run out. You could just. <laughs> it's not like there's only ten thousand of these made. You're literally just saying you can only buy it today. Or but that's how you do it. That's how you make money. Yeah. It's the FOMO. Yeah. We're yeah, the FOMO generation now, isn't it? Why it's... do you think I? Why do you think I got the BTS one? I know because you you're a sucker and you like to spend money on stupid. <laughs> no, I, just, I got that for free, so I was all right. <laughs> I had the leftover V bucks for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. I, again, proper old man moment. I was like, back in my day, they were just included. Why? Why? <laughs> why? Why? why He's the color of my character. No, I can't. No. Why do? Why would? Yeah. Madness. No madness but yeah but I, yeah i mean i i think releasing halo multiplayer going back to the point um separately before the single player i don't see the problem with that if anything it would, would i would build up yeah, i think in, that now you mentioned interest. it and them talking about it i guarantee they'll do it because they'll build the hype 
to get yeah. people playing, especially if it's all exclusive. This all one game mode. It's all battle royale. This whole there's game no battle royale. Is, no, we don't want battle royale. What I think, okay, whatever game modes they pick to choose and bring into thing, will get people hyped up. And yeah, depends especially how long the they do it though. If they don't, if they don't drop it soon enough, like if they it'll do, be like as, within half a year, I imagine. Yeah, if they kind of do the um, Marvel Avengers esque here comes a new character and wait just that little bit too long too long that's then they've really... lost it they need to have that kind of constant train hype of going um, no you're definitely right there i think and i think it's six months might be too long i think it, it is in that short window of three to six months hmm. um obviously if it's cac then it doesn't matter when you release it it's rubbish and you've you've killed your you've killed your game yeah. but yeah, I, I think i think the, the main thing would be not to hold it for the launch of the single player as well so if it's ready say you know march but they're not yeah. going to launch a single player till september there's no point holding it because they're going to release it free as free to play anyway so yeah. you might as well just get it out there start building the hype and then you could sort of drop the uh, demo or a you know a little teaser here and there you know within the within that within game, game or you know yeah um but yeah, I, basically, I just want to play Halo, the next gen Halo <laughs> multiplayer. So, so release it whenever. I don't care if it's broken. Just release it, just so I can get get back into the groove. Uh, yeah, I loved Halo Five. It was awesome online. Sing, single player, nah, but the my online, excellent, yeah. excellent. So uh, yes, yeah, so we want to get back to that, please. Thank you. How are you listening, guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they're all listening. Yeah, all Halo fans. They got it on live stream in their office right now. No one's in the office, but it's on. They got a live stream in the office. Hi. Okay. Uh, all right. So, do you want to give us a quick rundown of the? We got some free play days. Is that this weekend? Is it? It is this weekend. So you have, if you are an Xbox Gold and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate member, <laughs> you get to play Pekken. Uh, Pekken. Tekken Seven. I you get to play. Pekken. Yeah. <laughs> Survival Evolved. Oh, Ark Survival Evolved, sorry. And then Overwatch Origins Edition. And you can play that up until the 22nd of November. And that's your uh, free play dates for this weekend. And then each of those titles are on sale as well. So if you like it, you can then buy it. The, uh, the free play weekends and, and days and stuff. I, I don't think places can do anything like that, really, do they? Because that's very rarely, if any. Just, yeah, I mean, it's... it's... I'm not really interested in any of them, but imagine you you know didn't really have much to play and you fancy picking something new up. You got Tekken, Ark, and Overwatch. Just yeah, you know, I'll just spend the weekend playing them. It's a good game. I I think I remember. I got Overwatch. When they... go on, sorry. Go on. No, go on. No, sorry. I've got Overwatch for the PC because I think back then it was just easy to get on the PC and I just had it. I absolutely loved it so much. It was quite a good fun game though. So. I definitely recommend that. I think I've done Tekken. Have I done Tekken? I think we played Tekken at um, uh, EGX, I think. Seven or six? Is it seven or six? So the one that's free is, uh, or this weekend is seven. Oh, that's the one I did there. Seven was, there was on. So the next cloud, that's why I did it. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Next cloud, when they did when they did the beta or alpha, I don't know what it was. Yeah. Any, think, any of them take your fancy then, Dan? I'd, not for me. I normally see these free play dates and I'm a bit like, uh, you've normally either played it or it's been on Game Pass um, or True. is on Game Pass. So True. I'm not, um, however, it's it's a good enticing thing for someone, as you said. Yeah. You've got either nothing to play or, you know, something actually pops up and then the fact they add it with a sale is uh, very clever. Yeah. I mean, I, I might, that, uh, download uh, Overwatch, so I, I did put it on the Switch. They had a free, they had a free play uh, weekend on there. Okay. Um, How did that run? I, I, well, it downloaded very fast, um, <laughs> and then it deleted even faster when I didn't even get around to loading it up. So I've no idea. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've, I've been intrigued to try it. I, I don't think it'd be my cup of tea, but I've, de- I've been intrigued to try it for a while. So I... uh, Paladins hmm. is a lot better, in my opinion. However, oh, I didn't really like Paladins though, so uh, maybe I'll get on with Overwatch. But, uh, I think those two are very much like you like one or the other. I yeah. don't, I don't think I've heard anyone like both. Yeah. Um. But yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, there's some some you know stellar recommendations there from your tavern boys. You know, go play 
Overwatch, maybe or maybe Tekken. Yeah, we we could skip skip Ark though. I think I think that kind of yeah. Mm, I, I recommend Overwatch. Yeah. All well, right, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go. Official tavern seal of approval is Ghost yeah. Overwatch uh, for free this weekend. Go check it out and let Ian know what you think at, at Nighty Ray on Twitter. <laughs> Tell him how wonderful his suggestion was. <laughs> no, <laughs> long as yeah. Mercy's Go and be nice guy. to him. Go send him lots of nice messages because he's a very nice boy. Ah, uh, and send old man messages to you next time with men in Zimmer, <laughs> gifts of men in Zimmer frames and old men going, "Oh, what do I do? I, I only How want do I pictures turn this of computer on? I only want pictures of Werther's originals. That's <laughs> all I need, please. Thank you. And your favourite food, which I can't really say. Can't watch my food. Yeah, I don't think we. Even though it's not really a. Yeah, in that context, but yeah, we'll skip it. Let's just say meatballs. I like meatballs in gravy. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Brains. Anyway, so we digress. Game, ga- games of Gold is obviously still the same. Daniel, do you want to give that one more shot? Yeah, go on. Origami Shadow Editions. Uh, that's it. up that until left? the 30th of November. Oh, is it? Um, Swim Sanity is now available, and that runs until the 15th of December. And of course, we'll all look at Ian, as we say, Lego Indiana <laughs> Jones until the 31st of November. It's not how it, mate. Quality. Um, and Rocker Dude just walks in when we start talking about meatballs. <laughs> of course he does. Hello, Bye. Oh, are we? <laughs> Get you back, we, you, you can should we just have a, a half hour discussion on meatballs now? What's your favorite meatball size? Is it? <laughs> Oh dear. All right. Like that. Like that. I mean, technically, they're not actually meatballs, but they're, uh, yeah. Well, well, just look up Mr. Brains and you'll figure it out. All right. So I think we've pretty much covered everything we were going to cover this week. Is there anything else, Ian, you'd like to bring up before we let these fine people go home or stop listening? No, I'm just looking up. <laughs> You're not looking at. You know what it is. I know what it is. So I was going to put a link in the, in the make, Twitch chat. Make sure your safe your safe search is on. You. I don't want you searching Mr. Brains on with no safe search because who knows what you'll come across. Oh, uh, he's, he's used Tesco's. Good man. <laughs> Dan, anything you'd like to bring up before we before we head off? No, no. I'm... Well, apologies oh. to the Twitch chat because you can't hear my mic. I guess. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie. Um, so, yeah, so basically, that's the end of the day, end of our wonderful show once more. Thank you very much for tuning in, listening, watching. Uh, you'll find the video on demand on YouTube over the weekend. It'll obviously remain on Twitch for a little while as well. And you'll be able to download the audio feed on your podcasting app slash listening device of choice. So just search for Xbox Tavern on all of them and you'll, you'll come across our smiling faces or our, our lovely voices. Uh, obviously you can head over to xboxtavern.com for all of our written content you know reviews and features we've just added another uh, top three games of generation by james uh, he's got some some interesting choices um good games very good games and it, i like the fact that other than all of us picking something from respawn basically titanfall um the rest of them seem to have, have sort of branched out and covered games that perhaps you might not necessarily think of straight away but you know a well worth a, a look and a, and a play so yes yeah, so or if you do me you'd cheat and have seven games or yeah or if you're in you know just, just just make your top three of whatever games you've played in the last seven or eight years it's fine um there's no no <laughs> limit no limit to what we can do eh that's the power of the internet and our wonderful you yeah, know power um so yeah, xbox.com for the written content. Obviously, YouTube channel. Daniel Lavi's review of Warhammer Chaos Bane Slayer. Is that right? Chaos Bane Slayer? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yes, yeah, it is. Spiffing. Uh, that'll be up at some point in the next few days, hopefully. Um, you can follow myself at Enaxan on Twitter, Daniel at ChocolateBear80, Ian at Nutty Ray, and we'll give Graham an honorary shout at Graham Reaper. Uh, all on Twitter so pop over and say hello and obviously follow at, at Xbox Tavern as well for the official account where we'll mm. post our reviews and links to videos and should be all down there. gifts and stuff um, it should all be down there see modern technology <laughs> amazing Spent all night making old, that 
Such an old all man. night making that. So so where oh, uh, so where do we where do we press on? Is it up here somewhere? Do I need to stand there? Damn it! Yeah. Look down Let's there. Do this. Do this. That I can't. Up there. Technically, I can't, if I do I, this, you're below me, so you have to do it. Like this. Like That's this. it. There Keep going go. down. Like oh yeah. All, all, the, all, yeah. all the information you could ever need in in life is just there. <laughs> so yeah. So yes, thank you very much. Get Corey on uh, next week. Yeah. Well, yeah. Again, yeah. You know, we're we'll open it up to the rest of the team yeah, and get other people involved as well as and when they they see fit. Obviously, it's a bit of a issue, logistical issue with with time and you know, across across the Atlantic and across the world. But we'll figure it out. Um, I mean, he's so, a yeah. veteran of podcasts, so you know you, he'll be teaching us how to do it. Take yeah, you know, yeah. Show us the ropes. All right. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Thank you. Thank you, Graham. Thank you, Jamie. Soon, Graham. Thank you, Jamie, yeah. as well. Thanks to Jamie. Thank well done, Jamie. Oh, thank, you. thank you for taking thank through you. this journey. Jamie's I'm team man- is just I'm- turned off as well. Oh, no, it's back on. No, I know. I think it's all shut down. I managed to stay awake, so that's the main accomplishment of the evening. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everybody. And we'll catch you again next time. See ya. <laughs>